The following is a slightly historical series on the Romance of the Three Kingdoms era of China's history. Because this is based off of a video game and myself playing it, there will be a lot of uh, incorrect information that we will correct using the help of Wikipedia. For those of you who want to learn more about Dynasty Warriors or the Romance of the Three Kingdoms era, I suggest reading the book. Please enjoy the following presentation. Because today, we're going to be talking about Lady Sun. Sun Shang Zhang. Sun Shang Jiang. However you want to pronounce it. Let, let's uh, consult the Wikipedia. Oh, it doesn't have the thing. It doesn't have the pronunciation thing. Unlucky. But yes, Sun Ren, Lady Sun, Sun Shang Jiang. Many different names, but uh, funnily enough, the actual order that her and her brothers were born were not recorded in history. Lady Sun was the daughter of Sun Jian. Her mother's identity is not recorded. She had four brothers who were born to Lady Wu. Sun Se, Sun Chuan, Sun Yi, and Sun Quang. Her personal name was not recorded in history. Also, the birth order of her and her brothers Sun Yi and Sun Quang is unknown. So she could have been the fifth child, could have been the third child, we don't really know. But uh, Sun Se and Sun Chuan were definitely one and two. Funny thing about uh, Sun Shang Jiang being a playable character in this game too, is that she never battled. She was not involved in any battle. Her most major involvement was being married off to Liu Bei, being super chaotic, and trying to steal Liu Bei's baby. But, uh, we'll get to that when we get there. Let's just start off the story with Sun Sheng Jiang. Very bright and personable, she is the daughter of Sun Jian, trained in the martial arts since she was quite young. She's very skilled in battle, which is a straight up lie. She never battled. This is my sister's favorite character, too. Because of the, the rings, those are cool weapons. I am Sun Sheng Jiang, daughter of Sun Jian. Growing up, I studied the martial arts right alongside my brothers. That surprises most people, but I'm very proud of my skill. What? I didn't give him any. These days, wars are breaking out all over the land. It's a tough time to live in, but it's also the perfect time for me to prove myself. I'm not just going to stay home anymore while my father and brothers go off to fight. They raised me like a warrior. And that's exactly what I'm going to be. And that is complete fabrication. Shang Zhang, you did an excellent job of guarding the home front. As you know, we scored a great victory at Sishui Gate and disposed of the tyrant Dong Zhuo in Luoyang. But now, the once unified coalition has split in all directions. Yuan Shu has entered into a struggle with Liu Biao of Jing and is requesting our assistance. Shang Zhang, though I have agreed with your wishes to attend this battle, promise me you'll play it safe. First, lead the army in from the east, and attack the enemy where their defenses are weak. So obviously, every single battle we're going to be playing in is, you know, part of the real storyline, but Sun Shang Jiang was never involved in any battles, so I don't know what kind of personal story this game is going to have for her. This is going to be a very light episode in terms of actual history. But lots of cutscenes. I'll lead in a We wiped out that punk Yu Biao and captured Jing. That ought to teach those across the land not to mess with us. I'm worried about father. With him in this condition, I have to do my best. We must be sure that we are fully prepared for the battle ahead. First, my beloved father was fatally wounded in a battle with Liu Biao. And just as I was about to finally put it behind me, my brother Sei also passed away from this world. Luckily, my brother Quan was able to overcome his grief and become the next to lead our family. He joined forces with Liu Bei and defeated Cao Cao's fleet at Chibi. So we're skipping the Battle of Red Cliff now, again, cool. it's time to head for the battlefield again. I wonder who this Liu Bei is that is fighting alongside us. I hope I get the chance to meet him. Oh, we're at not skipping it. 
My mistake. Our sank the gigantic navy of cow cows to the depths of the Changjiang. Oh, we are skipping now, it. Now we just need to chase down Cao Cao and realize total victory. With his army on the brink of elimination, Cao Cao is using what protection he has left to escape from Chi Bi. We must not let him get away from us. Princess, we must smash Cao Cao and his ambitions along with him. It is time to welcome the dawn of Wu that Sun Jian and Sun Se dreamed about. We must go and realize their dreams with our strength. Is this where my struggle finally ends? Guan Yu, was my fate decided from the very moment that you left me? Go. It is still not possible for me to forget my debt to you. But that debt ends here. The next time you oppose my lord, I will kill you. Remember that, Lord Cao Cao. Cao Cao. We have thoroughly crushed Cao Cao's army. It was quite humorous to see them scattering about like ants. This defeat should shut him up for a while. However, he will definitely come seeking revenge. Before that time comes, we must build up our military strength and be prepared to meet their advance. No. After the battle at Chi, Hash app and PayPal. our marriage was arranged to Liu Bei. He was a big help in saving us from the invasion by Cao Cao. I'm sure he and I would get along great together. That is true, uh, in terms of the timeline. Uh, during the year 209, which uh, Chi Bi took place in 208, Lady Sun would marry the warlord Liu Bei to strengthen the alliance between Liu Bei and Sun Chuan. Marriage probably took place in Gongan County because it was the provincial capital, capital of Jing, and Liu Bei was serving as the provincial governor at the time. Lady Sun was known to be talented and bright, she was also bold and extremely fierce in character with a personality that reminded of her elder brothers. She had more than a hundred female servants who carried swords and stood guard outside of her room. Liu Bei was also suspicious and fearful of Lady Sun. Liu Bei's advisor, Zhu Ge Liang, once said when our lord Liu Bei was in Gong An, he dreaded Cao Cao's influence in the north and feared Sun Chuan's presence in the east. Even in home territory, he was afraid that Lady Soon would cause trouble. However, just after I left to go to him, I was suddenly called back home. Then it occurred to me, I was being used in a plot against Liu Bei. I hope you can forgive me, Liu Bei. I really did have true feelings for you. I hope we can still meet again. I really do. Not so sure about the historicity of what, if that's even the right word of that. Uh, let's see. Because after that, Lady Soon, you know, saw herself as the sister of a powerful warlord and not only acted in an arrogant, unbridled manner, but also allowed her bodyguards and personal staff to behave lawlessly throughout Jing province. For this reason, Liu Bei specially appointed Zhao Yun, whom he deemed a serious and conscientious person to oversee domestic affairs in Jing and maintain the law and order. Princess, forgive me, but marriages for a high-born lady such as you are made for political gain. So with the current turmoil, please understand our Lord's reasons for calling you back. We will hereby invade the territory of Heifei, where Wei has stationed their forces. If we can obtain these lands, it will prove most beneficial in our struggle against Wei. Currently, the enemy is few and their defenses are thin. However, those that remain are veterans of many hard-fought battles. You must not underestimate the strength of their resolve. So I'm not sure if it's going to be actually put into this game, but uh, there was an instance where later in 211, Liu Bei left Jing on a campaign to attack the warlord Liu Zhang in Yi, while Lady Sun remained behind. When Sun Chuan heard that Liu Bei had traveled to Yi, he sent a ship to fetch her, which is probably her being you know, recalled in this story right now. Uh, Lady Sun attempted to bring Liu Bei's son, Liu Shan, who was born to Liu Bei's other wife, Lady Gan, with her to Sun Chuan's territory. 
However, Zhao Yun and Zhang Fei led their men to intercept her along the way and retrieve Liu Shan. Nothing was recorded in history about what happened to Lady Soon after she returned home. So, technically, her story should be over here because we don't know anything about her from here on out. But this is a video game, so we're going to play it out. Don't look so down, Ling Tong. We've seen this cutscene before. It's not even a cutscene, you know, related to Sun Shang Jiang. We have gained the right to rule this land. Although we were unable to kill Cao Cao, the Wei army will not soon forget the lesson we taught them in this battle. Should we use this momentum to crush Cao Cao? Or perhaps we should break our alliance and attack Liu Bei. Or perhaps... Our next move will surely determine the fate of the land. We won the battle at Heifei. It was then decided that we should subdue the barbarian King Meng Huo in the south. Another battle, but I feel a little relieved. At least tensions have subsided with Shu, so we won't be fighting against Liu Bei for a while. Meng Huo's barbarians are said to share a strong sense of unity, but no one's as unified as we are here in Wu. They'll be no match for the Sun family's strength. Due to the heavy damage we inflicted on Wei at the Battle of Heifei, the land has come to know a moment's peace. We must use this to our advantage and wipe out our enemies in the south. You say that, Lu Jun, but uh, in terms of where you were geographically, to the south would be the Philippines. Taiwan. The enemy is centered around their king, Meng Huo. And That's they all west. To be like one big family. This unity cannot be underestimated. This battle could very well prove to be difficult. But it is as you say. The bonds between the Sun family of Wu cannot be matched in strength. Okay, let us head for the southern continent. I hate this battle, because not only is it completely fictional, but it's just, it's not fun. It's not fun to try to get these people up off their... They're elephants. We have defeated the Nanman King Meng Huo and secured the lands of Nanman. The resources here shall increase the strength of Wu tremendously. We no longer need fear of being attacked from behind. Finally, we can realize the dream of a land united under Wu. Shall our opponent be Cao Cao or Liu Bei, it doesn't matter. Nobody can stop the crest of power which we now ride. Like I mentioned in a previous episode, you know, this never happens, to my knowledge at least, the invasion of Nanjong by Wu. Because it was, uh, you know, it was... I'll use these. Because it was land south, or so rather southwest of where uh, Shu was set up camp. Uh, geographically, Wu was like the coastline of uh, China, like the southeastern coastline. So it kind of doesn't make sense that they would go through Shu in order to get to Nanjong to invade it, but uh... We have settled the southern lands, so we will soon renew our conflicts with Shu and Wei. Once again, I will be forced to fight against my dear Liu Bei. Liu Bei has declared war on us over the death of his brother Guan Yu. I understand the anger and pain he must feel, for I too have lost members of my family. We have no choice but to fight. I wish I didn't have to face Liu Bei, but no matter how I feel about him, my family will always come first. Shu has declared this a battle to avenge the death of Guan Yu and has dispatched their army to Yi Ling. However, Shu is without honor, so they have no chance of victory. The flames of our passion shall put an end to them. I am having Zhu Ron prepare the fire attack. We shall wait for an opportunity to oh, set up a bridge to battle. set fire to the enemy camp. Until then, we must wait and concentrate on our defenses. The battle with the maze. Princess, I understand your feelings. 
But Liu Bei has given in to his hatred and lost his way. For the good of Wu, you must fight against me. I mean Shu. I do appreciate the unique uh, dialogue, though. I really appreciate that. Yeah, there is a little mix-up in this game specifically. Um, this battle is the one that's supposed to feature the Stone Sentinel maze. Lu Xun will take command of this battle. Zhu Ron will need time to prepare the fire attack. We must do everything we can to hold the enemy at bay. The Stone Sentinel maze being a fictional story, of course, but it was one that was uh, somewhat important as it made uh, Lu Xun's career, basically. It would be him to enter the maze and meet Zhuge Liang's uh Sun Quan must pay the death of Guan Yu. Which again, entirely fictional story. The battle was real, but uh They're trying to take the base. Stop Stone Central Maze fiction. In this game though, it's just a regular like maze in the forest and the way they do it is uh they have like they just get rid of the mini-map, so you have no idea how you're navigating. Which makes this battle very annoying. One of my least favorite battles, only because of that section. But of course, like I mentioned earlier, um, Sun Sheng Jiang was completely out of the history book at this point. No Literally nothing known about her whereabouts at this point in history. Unless there's like a missing, uh... Whatchamacallit, biography of her, so... She never t participated in any battles, so she wouldn't be here in the first place anyway. a new life together. But Shang Zhang... Stay back! I am a daughter of the Soon family. And I am loyal to my father, my brother, and to Wu. You're by yourself, That's cute. Shang Zhang. What a waste. An army raised on anger is doomed to fail. If you live by your emotions, that you shall die by your emotions. It truly is a fitting end for the Bay. Thanks to this battle, we managed to increase our power while rendering Shu harmless. All that remains is Wei, who is of no real threat to us. The day of a land ruled by Wu is close at hand. It was during the final days of the year 200 AD when the Han Dynasty saw its end. Its demise ushered in a new era of chaos, brought on by several regional lords vying to rule China. There were those who sought absolute power, as well as those who fought for justice, and some simply fought for the sake of their beliefs. Many would rise and fall in their attempts to dominate the land. Sun Shang Zhang, born in the Wu territory. The daughter of Sun Jian, she was very fond of the martial arts from a young age, always carrying a bow at her waist. After Dong Zhuo's defeat, the land would be thrown into chaos once again. The Sun family began to build their forces with the intention to rule the land. Sun Shang Zhang was said to have fought just as well as any man on the battlefield. Wu's victory over Cao Cao at Qi Bi had expanded their power tremendously. However, there was still Liu Bei's empire, which could not be left unchecked. The decision was made to form a truce with Liu Bei by wedding Sun Shang Zhang to him.
After some time, Sun Shang Zhang actually fell in love with Liu Bei. However, since the marriage was conducted as a mere ploy, she was called back by her brother to return to Wu. Keeping her true feelings for Liu Bei a secret, she left Shu. With Sun Shang Zhang back, Wu was once again a formidable force, advancing south and taking control of Nanjiang. Additionally, Guan Yu was slain in Jing. Angered by the loss of his sworn brother, Liu Bei fought his way east and was eventually killed at Yiling. Sun Shang Zhang and Liu Bei were torn from one another by the fighting. She hated the chaos and swore to live on with Liu Bei in her heart. Her fighting will not stop until all the people become truly happy. These tales, long forgotten in the flows of time, are about the legends of which no one can recall. Yay, Sun Jian! Why? Why did we... have to... be torn apart? Lord Liu Bei, I shall, I shall live a life worthy of your memory. And that is the story of Lady Soon, who did not participate in any battles, even in the Romance of the Three Kingdoms. She was not, uh on the battlefields, on the front lines, in any sense of the word. She was mentioned, you know, because she was the husband of Liu Bei. She was the brother of Sun Se and Sun Chuan. But uh, other than that, she did not do anything. <laughs> her name was Sun Ren in the novel Romance of the Three Kingdoms, which depicts her as a fiery, determined woman skilled in martial arts. Fictitious events in the novel include her marriage to Liu Bei and subsequent suicide when she heard false news about his death. So it was actually, uh, you know, in line with the story here, the Stone Sentinel Maze battle I was talking about earlier, which was supposed to be this battle, but the Stone Sentinel Maze isn't actually there. It's in another battle. That was a mess up on the game developer's part. But uh, news of Liu Bei's defeat in this battle reached his ex-wife, Lady Soon, who had returned to Wu. After hearing rumors that Liu Bei had been killed in battle, Lady Soon ventures out to the bank of the Yangtze, where she faces the west and cries before drowning herself. So, nothing was recorded in history about what happened to Lady Soon after she left Liu Bei. So this is a complete fabrication of her story ending, and you know maybe a post credit scene. It would have been uh, real, kind of dark, but what, this game is rated T already? They could have like had an off-screen suicide of her after killing Liu Bei or something like that. I don't know. Just spice it up a little bit. But, uh, yeah, that is that's all we know about Liu, uh, not Liu. Uh, that's all we know about uh, Lady Soon. So, n not really much of an episode here, considering... I said everything I needed to say about her in like the 10 minutes to start the episode, but you know, still good to know that this character did exist and you know what actually happened in her life. So that means next week and next week I will be changing the schedule. We're not going to be playing Ape Escape anymore because we've caught all 938 monkeys. 
So what I will be doing is accelerating the Dynasty Warrior schedule, basically so I could just get it out of the way. Uh, n not on Tuesday, because we don't stream on Tuesday afternoons. And not on Wednesday either, because uh, we will be helping move some furniture that was destroyed in a water main accident. But uh, the next time we play, the next episode, it won't be Cao Cao. It will be my man, Zhang Liao. Known for his intellect as well as his might, he places honor above all else and even shows his enemies the proper courtesy in battle. My favorite character in the game, in the series, he is super cool. Battle of Hei Fei is where he pops off. I love him a lot. Can't wait to do that episode. That is going to be happening later this week. And afterwards, it is going to be all Dynasty Warriors until we finish off every single one of these stories. That way, I can make the YouTube series and it'll last like a year from now. Today is April 2024 one episode per week for the next like 40 something weeks maybe take uh off for christmas or something like that <laughs> but uh next episode definitely zhang liao after that uh is going to be not liu bei but ma chow another really cool character and down the wu line sun jian we're gonna be doing sun chuan last because uh, he is technically the leader and has the most episodes. So that is how the cookie is going to crumble in future episodes. As for right now, thank you very much for watching. We are not going to raid anybody because I have one viewer and that is me. So.